On this edition of Black Paramaniac Shooting, I'm going to show you how I cut cleaning patches, not with the old-fashioned way with these things, but with this thing. Pretty cool little toy. It's only 10 degrees outside here in Eastern Kentucky on a Sunday afternoon when I normally like to go out and shoot. And my internet doesn't even work today. Wonderful. So, I guess I'll spend a little bit of time cutting out a few cleaning patches. And I'll show you the tools I use and the way I go about cutting out hundreds of patches in very little time. To save you a little bit of money from having to buy them in the store. Especially if you live out in the middle of nowhere like I do. You don't need to see me in the picture, but I'll show you exactly what I'm using for tools to get this done. And that is pretty simple. What you need is a piece of plexiglass, kind of like this. And this little tool came from Walmart. It's a little cutting tool you can get over there in the, in the craft section where you buy your materials and so forth. And it's a razor sharp piece uh, that you use to cut these. And you just need an old t-shirt. Now I like to use a 100% cotton t-shirt. But I'm using it for cleaning patches anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. So here's what I'll do, is I'll basically get this tool ready to go, and just cut off these corners, like this. And cut off this corner as such. Notice how it goes right through that material, no trouble at all. And then, turn this thing around here, and I'll just cut off the tops of them here also. Because I don't use I don't use these things here, they're too thick to go into the into the uh, gun, so I just use the material itself, that's it. Alright, I'm done with that, is kind of go down the edges and cut it down here also. And same thing with this side. So now all I got is a big square piece of material. As such. Now, once I got an old square piece out here like this, it's just a matter of cutting it out in squares and using it that way. So, let's do it this way. Cut off all the scrap on the end. Alright. Go about every two inches apart, all the way down through here, like such. And I'll stop right there and I'll just go this direction, every two inches apart or so. And look at all the patches I've got right there already cut. It's that fast. I'm going to go a little bit further. I'll do it again. About every two inches. It's not rocket science. You don't have to have it perfect. Just about every two inches or so, because they're going to go on the end of your jag down inside the gun anyway for cleaning. About two inches apart. And look at all the patches I got. Just in no time at all. There you go. That, my friends, in about two minutes or three minutes, is half that t-shirt already cut. And look at that. Hundreds of patches in no time at all. Some of you might be even wondering, what have you been cutting these silly patches for? Well, when you use a black powder gun, at the end of the day, you want to clean it out. So what you use is a little ramrod, you have the jag on the end of it. So this is a 50 caliber gun that uses this little round jag. So you get the patches on the ends of it as such and you stick it down into the barrel like this. And that's what you use with cleaning materials, water, dishwasher soap, and that sort of thing to clean your barrels out. So in the description below I'll leave a link on how to clean black powder guns that works for me. So that uh, gives you a better idea why we're cutting all these patches from old t-shirts. There you have it, my friends. I hope this helped you out. 
whole box full of all kinds of good old patches. Plenty of them to use to clean the guns. And I will be sure to use them all sometime this summer. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll catch you next time.